and where you're from? Uh, my name is Faith and I'm from Stanford, Connecticut. My name is Hagen and I'm from Stanford, Connecticut. And my name is India and I'm also from Stanford, Connecticut. <laughs> so what do you think of the people of New York? Um, I think they're busy and I think they like to have a lot of fun. Yeah, I feel like it's almost like a melting pot of people because there's so much culture and so much diversity and I find it like I find it so beautiful but at the same time with there being so much people you have the best and the both the best and the worst of both of those um, things so I agree I think they are funny and busy but they're also very good could you share something interesting about your city and your community Wait, could you repeat that again? Um, can you share something interesting about your city and community? Um, about Stanford? Yes. I feel like, I really like Stanford because I almost compare it to a little New York where it's the same thing. Like, we have so much different types of people, which is really, really good because then you get to see how everyone interacts together and you get to see, like, just not only there being lots of culture, but so much, um, I don't know, just all these like sexual orientations, all these um, different types of people, getting to see like everybody, especially because we're so close to New York, it's it's really dope. I just feel like that's why I, I love New York because it reminds me of Stanford. That's what I, like. I agree with you in that way. I, what I like about, what I find interesting about Stanford, it's just a small town and like everyone's so close knit and everyone knows each other and you kind of just get that attention from everyone. In Stanford, it's always very slow paced compared to like New York or other cities where everything moves very quickly. Um, if you suddenly earned a lot of money, how would you spend it? Oh, can you repeat that? I'm sorry. If you suddenly earned a lot of money, how would you spend it? Um, hmm. I'd buy a mansion, possibly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's it's a hard question, whatever, because you think about that. Like, if you had three wishes, if you had money, I feel like. It would take me a while to think about it, but I feel like I'd want to ultimately like give back to the community because I feel like there's so much issues that I feel like aren't getting enough awareness, and I would not only want to bring awareness to those issues, but I would also want to like give money where it could be brought to, to help people. I would invest it in the various businesses over here. If you were to describe the color yellow to a blind person, how would you describe it? Um. I would say bright. I don't know, like happy. It's really hard to describe yellow. Um, yellow to me is like warmth. Like yellow is like happiness. Yellow, it's like you can you can place it to certain things, but I feel like colors give you certain feelings. And I would and bl like blind deaf, no matter what you are, you understand feelings. So I'd be like, yellow is is warmth. Yellow is like the color of like heat and warmth on your skin like that's that's what i would describe i feel like yellow is very like a very fast-paced happiness and excitement um if you saw a penguin walking with a hat here on the beach what would you think um i would want to go over and hug it or give it a high five <laughs> like i would take a picture with that penguin <laughs> My first thought would be like, I think that shit came from the zoo. I thought, I mean, not the zoo, the, the aquarium. aquarium. Yeah. I was like, I must have wandered out. But I would love that it had a hat on. That hat would kill me. Yeah. I would love that. I would also probably take a picture with it, and I think it would come from the zoo since it's so close by. Uh, speaking of the aquarium, have you been to it? And if so, what do you think of it? Um, this was our first time going to the aquarium. I really liked it. Unfortunately, most of like um, the exhibits we weren't able to go through because they were closed temporarily. But um, I really liked it. I got to see a lot of catfishes, uh, stingrays, and definitely see the um, the sea lions. Right? Yeah, they yeah, got that too. That was really cool. Yeah, the aquarium was really beautiful. Uh, it also it was all our first time going there, so just being able to see like all the animals and all the like the sharks and the turtles. Definitely the sharks like, were fun too. It's nice. It's like relaxing, and you just get to see all the wildlife. I really liked the aquarium. It had a very diverse, diverse, diverse creatures. Yeah, very diverse creatures. They're all very interesting. So, what is your favorite color? Um, it's hard to pick one. I would say red. Favorite color? Yeah. Hmm. I feel like there's so many colors. But I like blue. 
I also like New York. Um, if you were to choose between Connecticut and New York, what would you choose? Well, Connecticut. The reason why I would pick Connecticut is because it's like, um, I love New York and it's really like high spirited and everything, but I feel like it's just too much for me. And I like to have it toned down. I like a city that's just calm and it just feels like home because I've just been there all my life. I feel like I would need to travel more to fully like know because you have to weigh all your options to see. But I feel like right now I'm content living in living in Connecticut because I feel like I love the seasons changing and just like what you said, it's a little bit pulled back where it has all the people, but it also has the suburbs where New York is like like life all the time. And you're like, I want to tone it down a little bit. Something. I would like it in New York because there are a lot of various opportunities and it's very fast paced and things happen very quickly. <laughs> If you were to choose a uh, favorite city, or what city would you like to visit sometime in the future? Um, including ones that we've been to already. Uh, I like Boston. Boston, Massachusetts is beautiful. Um, I just like their architecture too. It's like really beautiful how the buildings are uh, built and where they are exactly. I feel like that's beautiful. I would love to go there. I need to go, I need to travel more to know like what places I, I like the most, but I've always wanted to go to like, I love like the idea of like Europe and like Italy looks really beautiful, like I would love to go to like Venice or Rome and see like um, the Colicombs, like that would be, that would be good. Like Austin, Texas. The wide serene deserts are very nice. Do you have a favorite movie or actor or actress? That's going to be hard for you. Um, if I were to go with an actor, I'd probably go with Robert Downey Jr. Just, yeah, I love the way he acts. He's so, like, especially in most of his movies, he plays, like, as an intelligent, um, guy. Whether it's, like, Sherlock Holmes or he plays as Tony Starks in Marvel. Um, yeah, and I just really like, even as an, like, as a person, like, besides him acting, I really like how who he is or how he is as a person. I feel like... I would have chosen so many actors, but I'm so the same thing with movies. Yeah. But I love The Matrix. Oh, I feel yeah. like that was the, a good one. The Matrix really makes you like question life and makes you question like reality and like the constructs in which we, we are um, controlled by. And I I love all the characters in there. I love Keanu Reeves. Um, I don't know I don't know the actor's name, but I love Trinity. I just love the entire movie and what they do. I really like um, Benedict Cumberbatch. He really embodies and connects yeah, to the yes. ways. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any uh, any advice for the younger generation? I would say stay young and do not grow old. I mean, do not, <laughs> do grow, not grow old. Do not grow up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do not grow up. So too soon. Life would, is too short to, to grow up. Yeah. I would just say like, um, do you honestly like? You really have to listen to your own intuition and your own voice and your heart because if you do you're going to be happy if you let other people like de- try to define you and you listen to people who try to um, like talk badly of you that's that's not who you are and you're just gonna you're just gonna get in that you just gotta um, focus on yourself and the positives in life and you'll always be happy do what you want to do life is too short to be lived badly. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I'll say. who do you think is the most powerful person in the world I would say the guy, the CEO of Amazon, I mean, he makes so much money and his ideas, the more he comes up, like he also took over Whole Foods as well as Amazon. I'm just like, what? I think he's powerful. It's because he got a lot of money. I feel like when I, when you ask that question, I think power embodies more than just control. I think a power in terms of like a voice. And I think someone who really embodies like that voice and that strength and that courage is like a Malala Yousafzai. Like, um, I love her and I love what she's doing for, um, like, campaigning for women's education. And I think, like, she's so strong and she's so brave and she's just uh, a really, like, beautiful, like, powerful woman. I think she's one of the most powerful women that I have. Yeah, I'm going over again. Same with the CEO of Amazon. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a favorite song? so much. You know? Yeah, I know. It's hard to say one. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
I don't know if this is the name of the song. I usually go between moods of songs, but right now, um, I think it's, um, do you know that song, the Pina Colada song? Like, it's like, I like Pina Coladas, <laughs> get caught in the rain. I love that song. I fucking love that song. I don't know, um. I don't know who it's by, but I it's like it's like um like an older song, probably like in the nineties or eighties, and I just I love that. It's like yeah. <laughs> mm, if I were to pick a song, it's it's so hard to choose because there's so many. Um, I love older songs. I would go with at the moment, like what I'm feeling is Havana. I really like that. Oh, I've yeah. been hearing it all today too, so I feel like I would go with that song. Yeah. Probably Danger Zone since that's the only one I can remember. Do you have a lucky number? A lucky number? I would say one. One is my lucky number. Oh, a lucky number? Yeah. I really like the number. Sorry, I was like, what happened? I really like the number 12. Like 12 for some reason, it's just like, I just feel it. I just like it. I just feel it. Seven. 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 Seven for one. Seven is lucky. Lucky seven. Mm -hmm. Then what inspires you to do your best? To do my best. Um, I feel like what inspires me the best to, to do what I want to do is just like, is visualizing it and thinking about all the people who don't do what they want to do and people who will just like drown themselves in on like their phones or just not like connecting in the moment so when i think about that and i think about how much i want to get people out of that that really like it's like that bad example is telling me what i don't want to do and what i don't want to lead so seeing that i'm like okay i gotta do what i gotta do i gotta do what makes me happy i gotta do what i want to do to to be successful i agree with her in a way where like it's it's that experience that i have with people and situations for myself too um, that kind of inspires me to like to be a better person to do what I gotta do in order to get where I want to get to um, and uh, and sometimes you get that inspiration from like people that you look up to whether that be singers actors or whoever usually for me it's the people who become great even though they start from nothing it's real inspiration to see how much they've changed Okay. okay, so on my YouTube channel, I talk a lot about helping um, the homeless people and just helping society in general. Mm -hmm. So what do you think we should do as a global community for the homeless, and what do you think about them? Um, I definitely do think they need help, and um, um, if I were to think of a way in which we can help them with that, I would say uh, um, donations. And I feel like if we, if enough, we have enough people donating, we can probably build structures, more structures for homeless people to like actually sleep in like shelters and um, and possibly give them a way for them to eat food and take a shower and take care of themselves. Um, yeah, I feel like that would help. I feel like that's really important as well as I feel like not only having those um, structures and those shelters in place, but I feel like giving um, like educational opportunities because giving them a place to stay is one thing but now how can you take it to a level where now they can sustain themselves I agree. in a way where now they it's like when you go to school giving them giving them opportunities for jobs giving them opportunities to make their own income and be independent i feel like that's super important but how would you do that i feel like if you like get enough donations and you would have to have enough money i feel like um having enough shelters is in place because you need to have them having some place but then if you had um like at libraries or if you had um some like probably government funded biz where you had started yes. your own program you could totally have them do like computer programs and you could um have them learn certain um certain skills that would help them with certain jobs and also um kind of how to get certain jobs help them with like applications and stuff i think that would be super important through donations i feel that we could give them the basic necessities that they need as well as job opportunities that they need uh what do you think about facebook and how much time should you spend on it daily um, okay i think Facebook, mo like most social media, is one of those platforms where you can just drown yourself in <laughs> um, <laughs> with memes and just videos and advertisement. I feel though that people shouldn't be on Facebook as often um, and the reason being because I feel like sometimes you can lose yourself in that and you need to spend some of your time being with fa friends, family, and just experiencing things because that's how you build yourself and build your character. I agree. I feel like Facebook is a little bit better opposed to other forms of social media, such as like um, Twitter and um, 
on Instagram in the sense where it's meant to connect people. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I feel like that's what social media was meant to do, to connect people from who, like, um, whether it's from distant family members or um, people who you knew from a long time ago. But I feel like more and more it's being integrated into something that is, like, um, in our society, I feel like our attention spans are getting smaller and smaller, um, just like with vines. Videos have to become shorter and shorter, and I'm like, it's we're getting connected into something that's like disconnecting us i feel like it's just like you said you're like drowning yourself in something that isn't real you could just go like this all day and you didn't even do anything mm-hmm. <coughs> i feel like people need to excuse yourself, need to take more control of their time and realize like this isn't real and i need to do what's what i need to do what's important for me mm-hmm. i also I feel like <laughs> through personal meetings and connections you can develop life skills that are that you need in everyday life and <coughs> by going on facebook and dying you deny yourself those skills well, thank you very much for this interview okay.